Thank you very much for the organizers. Thank you, Lisa, and thank you very much for the organizers to ask me to um, present to you what we plan to do in the, yeah, it's a European, or Horizon Europe uh, project, which is called uh, Animal Health and uh, Welfare. So uh, this is the outline, um, uh, just to say what is the, the partnership about, and uh, we'll concentrate on the strategic research and innovation agenda, and also on uh, yeah, the, what are the first steps that we do, and how can we link with such important uh, other partnerships, like the partnership One Health AMR or uh, Jamarai 2. I think that's very important. So we are talking here about something completely different from, well, completely different and, and of course very related to uh, what we have uh, been Recording hearing uh, this morning. Um, so this is really about the partnership uh, Animal Health and Welfare is about uh, animal infectious diseases, it's about uh, animal welfare, so it means sustainability of, of uh, agriculture production, food producing animals. But of course there's something very important in this, there is of course a lot of antibiotics used in uh, animals as well. So the prudent use of uh, antimicrobials in the agriculture, in the veterinary sector is of course very important and it's uh, important um, to, um, uh, to dedicate some actions uh, during the in the partnership. So that's what we, we will do. It is of course clear that infections that circulate or, or germs or uh, uh, that uh, circulate amongst uh, animals can go over to the environment and to, uh, public, to the, the public. So that means that uh, one health and also well, one welfare is um, important to take into account. Now, who are we? Who is uh, the, the partnership? Well, we have for the moment 90 uh, partners. And um, interesting to note, and this is key to, uh, to what I want to say, um, we have what we call RPOs. We have, uh, res that's, uh, these are research performing uh, organizations. So it are, these are uh, universities or research centers, 90 of them. And we have also funding organizations, so those that provide the, the cash funding. We also have two, uh, within the, the consortium, two uh, European agencies, EFSA and EMA, and I think that is uh, a particular, um, a particular um, yeah, characteristic of, of the partnership as well. So coming from these partners, so coming from 24 uh, European countries and associated members. And again, uh, the beneficiaries, it's important to, to stress that, beneficiaries are uh, funders and RPOs, as I told you. The funders, they bring in cash money. They want to organize uh, open transnational calls on one topic or the other. So this is one part of this. So this is relatively similar to what uh, Laura just uh, explained. On the other side, we have also the RPOs, the research performing organizations that can contribute that contribute to and uh, will contribute to the uh, activities within the partnership but have to pay 50 percent of the task of the the, uh, the the cost that they will um, can bring in 50 percent have to pay for them themselves but yet there are uh, uh, 56 rpos that are really much interested to, to contribute to this and we hear that there are more uh, RPOs interesting to, to join us later. So this means that we have cash money and we have in-kind money. And cash is for the external research goals and we have in-kind contribution and that's for the internal program. So we will have external calls, similar as what uh, Laura explained, and we will have in-kind activities, internal program, uh, capacity building, integrative activities, um, uh, reference task and so on to bring the partners together to be stronger faced to uh, upcoming threats. So there are two aspects, research on one hand and the other side, the capacity building and help. Now this is how we are organized. I think it's fairly similar to what we have uh, heard before, for instance, of what um, Marie Cecile uh, told us. On the right hand side you will see uh, how we are organized in uh, um, in work packages, and you see there on the bottom, there is the joint initiatives integration, so that's the internal program, and we have four, the research, external research calls, so we have dedicated work packages to this. 
Also important to, to tell is that the left-hand side, which are the, the boards, the, the, those that will help us in achieving our goals, and I just highlighted the scientific advisory board, uh, uh, the scientific advice that they will uh, provide on one hand, and the stakeholders committee. It's important to have, uh, to be in touch with those actors and stakeholders, organizations that can make use of, um, of, our, um, of what we come up with. Now, um, what is the kind of, of uh, research and internal activities that we want to develop? This, this is, of course, developed or uh, written down, drafted in uh, what is called the Strategic Research and Innovation Agenda. On the right-hand side, on the top, you see what is called the intervention logic, so the, the, the reasoning, the management, I would say, behind it with the general objectives, with specific objectives. And on the bottom, in the red, you have the operational objectives. These uh, objectives that will lead, and the task develops in these objectives, that will lead to uh, deliverables that can be used. And they are these operational objectives, so the, the deliverables are organized along four plus one lines, and we call them priority areas, because we think it's really important to concentrate on this. We have on the one hand side, on, on the first um, operational or priority, maybe I should say the priority, is um, we have to know what uh, to estimate, to measure, to, to monitor what is going on in the animal population in Europe. So we have uh, surveillance and we have monitoring. We use monitoring for uh, welfare, uh, surveillance for um, health, and um, coming up and related to that is the risk assessment. So it's logic, we have to know what is over there and estimate the risk. That's the first priority area. The second one, we need tools to make that happen, laboratory tools, or we need uh, tools that, that uh, sensors or other techniques within the farm, within the, the, during transport or when animals are killed to estimate what is the risk, what is, um, what is going on in these, uh, in these stages of the, uh, of the life or of the health of the, the animal. So this is tools to assess animal health and welfare. And then the third priority area is what we call the guidelines. We want to develop husbandry guidelines uh, also on breeding, also on feeding, also on uh, 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 tools for risk assessment and, and so on. So we need some uh, yeah, procedures and, and help to improve the welfare and to improve the health of, of the animals. So that's the third one. The fourth one is dedicated to treatments and vaccines. Because, of course, vaccines are so, mu so much important. Um, there, is, there are so many good working vaccines in animal health that are used and that are very useful and that help in using less antibiotics, but also uh, improving the health of animals. So not only vaccines, but also treatments uh, will, be, um, will be the topic of research and activities uh, uh, in the, the partnership. And the last one, the last operational objective, we call it socio-economic impacts, because it is really important to look how um, farmers and all actors within the uh, chain, from farmers over distribution, uh, slaughterhouses, uh, vets, farmers and the consumer, how they can be convinced to, for instance, pay more for uh, healthier animals. Uh, so the, the incentives that are needed uh, that uh, farmers and veterinarians really use the, the tools at hand to make the animals healthier, to use lesser antibiotics and uh, to improve the health and the production of uh, the animals. So, and these, all these um, elements, these priority areas in the SRIA, they will help to develop the internal program and the external project. Now, to set up the partnership, which, by the way, is not uh, we are in the progress of the grant signing the grant agreement, and uh, if it will be signed normally by the end of uh, this month, then uh, we will um, start uh, pr um, retroactively on the 1st of uh, January. But uh, we set up already a number of what we call uh, yeah, projects within the internal program. And these are aligned according to these um, uh, strategic priorities that I told you about. And these 
um, well, there are 17 projects that will start and uh, they will cover all these different um, priority areas that I told you about. It is about health and welfare, it's about integrative activities and research, it's about uh, terrestrial animals and aquatic, aquaculture, don't forget uh, uh, aquaculture, very important as well, also wildlife. And there is also a specific, there are many topics on antimicrobial bioresistance, I'll come back to that a uh, little bit later. We have also the opportunity to, uh, to, to collaborate with um, industry. Uh, the socioeconomics uh, are there in these uh, 17 projects that we have selected. And uh, in, in contrast to, if you would read the, the Syria, these are very high level domains. Well, in, in these here, uh, the, the 17 integrative activities, uh, some specific animal species, some specific animal infectious diseases are mentioned. So it's very complete, I would say, although, uh, of course, there is still more work to do. But within this, this is the list, of course, nothing to, uh, to, to read for you. But in the next slide, you see here in green, which is um, these projects that are highlighted uh, that cover one or the other topic about antimicrobial bile resistance or antimicrobial bile use. So uh, I would say almost half of the projects that will start now or that are st starting up now in, in the, the partnership animal health and welfare, they are dealing with uh, AMR and AMU, so the, the use of antimicrobials. So I think it's really important. Except for, well, there are 51 actions that are in the SRIA, uh, a number of them, 17, uh, 16, are already used now for the internal program, and there are many more, uh, I don't know, with, about uh, five to six or about 10, something like that, actions that will, um, with additional activities on AMR that are for planned in the, uh, in the partnership. Now, um, and I think this is important. Um, of course, you, uh, in, in Jamrai, you will work on uh, animal health, on, sorry, on public health in, in, in the environment, also animal health is, is certainly a topic. Um, we hear um, about uh, JAMRA, uh, GPIMR or the, the One Healthy AMR partnership. We have the partnership animal health and welfare where also AMR is uh, uh, discussed. So it is a good question to, to see how can we work together? How can we uh, make sure that there is not duplication of work or not too much uh, duplication of work? How can we make that uh, the actions and, and the money and the resources that go into an action in one partnership or, or uh, uh, joint action uh, will, will not be, uh, will not be uh, duplicated in another one? So we have to make sure that uh, we know each other, we know what we are going to do, and we have to make sure that um, we have trust or we build trust in each other. Of course, it's not that easy, but it is important, I think. And I, I, I just want to put some, some uh, elements here, or I put some elements on the screen. The first is, of course, that uh, I think we have added values. If, if we look or added um, at complementary activities in uh, Jamrai 2 and in the, the partnership, and, and we have to highlight this. The second thing is that within the 17 uh, internal projects that the, the Partnership Animal Health and Welfare is uh, proposing and will start now. Uh, within that, uh, uh, within these 17 uh, projects, uh, there are a number of activities that are already dealing with, uh, uh, with AMR. So I think it's, it's crucial to, that we tell our um, shares of these 17 uh, projects that we tell uh, you, your collaborators in Jamrai, and why not in the future in the One Health AMR partnership as well, what they plan to do. And the reverse, collaborators or key collaborators in the other partnerships, joint action or the other partnership One Health AMR, should know what is going on in, the, um, in, in, in our partnership Animal Health and Welfare about AMR. We should know it. If we don't know it, we, we cannot try to collaborate. Of course, we can, and we can set up parallel uh, activities. I say parallel, I don't say joint, because it may be difficult because, for instance, Jamrai 2, your, project, your, your, your projects are planned and, and your budget is fixed, and that's the same for our partnership animal health uh, and welfare projects. The planning is there and the, and, the, and the budget is there, but maybe we can set up um, parallel activities that can complement each other. Also, 
because you know that we will start external research calls and new uh, internal uh, activities. Well, the information or yeah, the information that comes from your partnerships or from your joint action can help us to, uh, uh, to, to make a, 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 a good choice of new activities that we can set up. So I think there are some uh, possibilities there. Also, we can exchange, I see here, there are uh, advisory boards and stakeholders committee. I think the, the partnerships should be represented in each other's um, uh, advisory board or forum, how you call it. Uh, also, if, if we plan to organize uh, meetings, uh, scientific meetings, we can do that together. We can see how we can contribute together to setting up uh, such kind of uh, events. And finally, another uh, final um, suggestion would be if we set up uh, s um, programs for uh, education and training for uh, uh, for exchange programs or short-time missions or, or whatever, we can try to uh, organize that uh, together as well. So. This is certainly not um, the final discussion. This is just uh, this is just a list of, of ideas that I come up with, and I would be glad to uh, to be able to uh, discuss that with you, uh, Marie Cecile, with uh, Laura. I don't see you either, but uh, it would be very good to to do that uh, together. So this was my last slide, and I thank you very much for uh, giving me this uh, opportunity to present the partnership. Thank you very much. Thank you.